I've been asking the guys, and I want to get your opinion because we've talked before about the leadership element. You guys had a game where things weren't going your way, and you know you kind of had to fight through that. As a leader, what does it take? What 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 steps do you have to take in those in those times when things are down to to make sure everybody's on the same page and and playing to the best of their ability? Yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's important, you know, as a as a leader to just kind of keep 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 the guys level headed, you know, even when the emotions are high, uh, you know, a team or a a drive doesn't go our way. I think it's just important that we kind of keep guys in it, keep our heads in it, and uh, just help them not to dwell on it. Uh, really, just to think about the next play and, and what they can and what they can do the next series uh, to do better. But yeah, we dealt with some adversity for sure during that game, and. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm glad we I'm glad we grinded out the window. You've played a lot of football with Isaiah, and he's another one of the leaders, obviously, on this team. How big was his performance as just far as as the defense as a whole? Yeah, I mean, I feel like Isaiah, you know, he he. I feel like it's every game he's having a he does really well and has a great game, and uh, he's a he's really good for us, and we're glad that we have him on our side. Um, as well as a lot of other guys that played really well during that game too. Uh, felt like it was a collective effort and, you know, we had some MAs, but we're going to get them cleaned up and, and we're excited for the new opportunity this week. All right, let's go Ralph Russo and then Jay. Thanks for doing this. Um, so I wanted to ask you a little bit about your quarterback. When you um... – when he comes onto campus and, and he, he earns a starting job as a freshman, what did, you know, as an upperclassman, what did you see out of him? Not just, well, first of all, on the field, going up against him that made you think, oh, we may have something here with this kid. And um, he seems to have a lot of confidence and energy and swag to his game. Does, did, did that come out early when you sort of got, got a chance to know him a little bit and, and compete against him in practice? Yeah, it's kind of funny. Uh, me and Zach have a have a, actually a great relationship, but I, I feel like it hasn't always been that way. When he stepped on campus, uh, you know, a lot of young guys, especially quarterbacks, they come in, they're a little bit timid, and, you know, they're just kind of trying to find their way. But Zach was the complete opposite. He stepped on campus, and he thought he was the best best thing since sliced bread. Uh, he was he, – he just thought he was the greatest thing. And, you know – I, I, I kind of felt like I was the same way, just being really confident, and we kind of bumped heads uh, every once in a while. But um, I mean, that's just who he is. He's he's a he's a very confident kid, and and uh, he 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 can be like that because of how he works. Um, you know, he's he's grown to just really inspire me, and and in how you really should prep, uh, prepare for games. Um, I've I've never seen him without his iPad watching film, and it's like. It's crazy to me, but uh, I, I, uh, I'm glad that he's, that he's, you know, getting all the rightfully deserved attention that he's getting right now and uh, very happy that he's with us. Hey, Troy, what's, uh, what's at stake Friday uh, in this kind of wackiest of all seasons for you guys? The, what are the implications for the team? Um. You know, I just think I think that obviously Houston presents you know such a great opportunity for us. They uh, they showed a lot of a lot of upside in their game uh, that they played last week. Uh, but I think it's just a great opportunity for us to just kind of show show everybody that we're you know we're we're capable of of accomplishing great things this year. And and uh, even though we had a little hiccup this past game, um, we're able to clean those things up, and and we're we're still able to execute at a very high level. And you know, Houston is, is a great team, and we're excited for the opportunity. Okay, let's go Shep and then Jay Couch. Troy, following up on, on Houston, you mentioned, you know, that they're a talented team. Even though it's just one game, what did you see specifically from their offense? They put up 49 points and a come-from-behind win over Tulane. What stands out to you about what their offense can do? Uh, I would say the, the the first thing that pops into my head is just kind of the the adversity that they dealt with in that game as an offense, uh, throwing the pick six, and then just just kind of the turnovers that they had, and really the fact that they weren't even shook from that. They, it seemed like it seemed like they didn't dwell at it at all. They knew that they could they could bounce back and put up you know a, a good amount of points, and and that's 
that's something that you want in an offense. And uh, that's why that's why I think this is going to be such a good challenge for us is because, you know, we could we could uh, be dominating early in the game and, and that could mean nothing to them. They're, they know their confidence, their confident squad, confident offense, and, and they're, they know that they're uh, capable of doing really good things. You guys haven't been on the road since week one. Are you guys looking forward to, to getting out on the road and, and kind of experiencing that for the first time in several weeks? Yeah, we uh, we love road games. Uh, it's a it's a cool opportunity, cool, cool to kind of just travel around the world. But uh, especially the Texas, I think it's going to be fun. And uh, uh, I'm hearing that there's going to be fans at the stadium, and uh, that's you know that's kind of something that we've been wanting all along. So uh, we're excited to to kind of have that different experience this year, and and uh, we're gonna we'll we'll take advantage of it. Troy, I wanted to ask you about the interception you had against UTSA. When uh, Harris released that pass, did you expect it to go as high and awkward as it did? Uh, no, honestly, I didn't. And, and I kicked myself because I actually slipped on that same play, whereas if I had kept my feet, I, I would have been able to catch it and, and, run, and run and get some yards. But uh, thankfully, I just caught it and, and was able to execute that turnover. I also wanted to ask you in terms of Micah Harper, he's a true freshman. He's made two career starts now. You've been mainly playing on the side of the field that he's been on, it seems like, so far this year. What about him impresses you? Uh, just his tenacity. He's a, he's a physical player. Uh, I mean, you've seen, you've seen his plays coming downhill and, and making really good tackles. Um, I mean, obviously, as a freshman, you'll make, you'll make a mistake here or there, but he's been very, he's been very confident in himself, and he doesn't really dwell on – on those mistakes that he makes and, uh, you know, really proud of what he's been able to do as a true freshman. Okay, let's go Chris Lowe. Hey, it's uh, Chris with ESPN. I wondered if you could put in context what this season's been like for you guys. You go from having to build a schedule, you haven't played in front of any fans yet, and here you're, you're, you got a shot on national TV to, to sort of show the country that, hey, you guys, you know, even though it's been – a little bit surreal, but you guys are, are, are for real. Yeah, I mean, it's it's been a, a roller coaster of emotions, and uh, you know, we there was a point in there was a point in time when we we thought, you know, are we even going to be able to play this year? And that was something that kind of worried us, and uh, uh, we we just we just continued to have faith and kept our head down and grinded, and uh, uh, we knew that at some point the work would pay off, and uh, I think I think that's that's the reason why we've had so much success this year because of what we, what we did in the off season, regardless of what we were hearing. Um, I think that's, that's the reason we're having a lot of success this year. And, you know, we, we were disappointed that we didn't get to um, have the schedule that was planned for us, but we looked at, we looked at the new schedule as every game an opportunity to show the, to show the country that we were a really dominant team and we're, and we're very good. And uh, I feel like we've done a really good job of, of that so far and it's just about you know can being consistent and, and maintaining that that uh, uh that pride okay last question jake yeah troy i wanted to ask you guys had a really good outing in terms of stopping the run again against utsa but the passing game has seemed to where you guys got carved up there is there any particular reason you can put your finger on as to why you guys struggled in terms of stopping utsa's passing game um, you know, I think, I think it was, it just came down to the little things. Um, there's no, you know, one thing that I could pinpoint as to why, you know, that happened, but, uh, we just gotta, we gotta, you know, minimize the, the MAs, the missed assignments, the, uh, just, the, the we just gotta do the little things better. Uh, and, and, and I think if we do that, uh, we're in a much better position to, um, to play well. And I think we, I think that's just something we lacked last game. Uh, we let, we, we, uh, we lost a bit of focus and, and uh, kind of got caught up in, you know, what happened before, you know, the, the last series. And, and uh, we, we just can't let that happen. We gotta, we gotta tune those things up this week and, and uh, get ready for, for Houston 